Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Comprehensive Comic. Swallowing the Main God's Light Ball at the Beginning. Chapter 21. After getting rid of the zombies in front of him, Hayata had time to look at the two people. Hayata said to the male teacher, Teacher Zidang, let me handle this. You can take this classmate to the car. Koichi Wisteria, a third year teacher at Fujimi Academy, also teaches Hayabusa's class, so the Lord God gave some information about this person. At the same time, he is also a villain in, XX Apocalypse, a very sinister person. Originally, according to the plot, he would use his shoe to rub Ida's face with love, and then abandon Ida and let him join the zombies. But how could Hayabusa allow this to happen? These are all his experiences. This was also one of the reasons why he went to the rear, so that he could rush over in time and take these people to the car safely. Don't worry, Busujima-san. Purple Fuji Koichi put on a smile again and immediately put away his little thoughts. He immediately helped Ida up and took him to escape towards the bus. The whole process is like a good teacher who does his best for his students. On the other side of the bus, Miyamoto Rei's face immediately darkened when she saw Wisteria Koichi. She was very dissatisfied and murmured loudly without hesitation. He's such a scumbag, so he shouldn't have been saved. There is a big conflict between Rei Miyamoto and Koichi Wisteria, so he has long seen his true nature. Miyamoto Rei is actually the same age as Hayabusa and should be in the third grade, but because she repeated the grade, she is still in the second grade. And the culprit of all this is Koichi Zito. So why did Koichi Purpledo do this? This is because Miyamoto Rei's father is an upright policeman. Wisteria Koichi's father is a parliamentarian, and Miyamoto Rei's father has some criminal evidence about him and wants to bring him down. So Shifuji Koichi received instructions from his father to threaten her father with Miyamoto Rei. But because Miyamoto Rei's father is an upright person, how could such a person bow to evil forces because of his relatives? So in the end Rei Miyamoto repeated the grade. Because of this, Rei Miyamoto is extremely disgusted with Koichi Wisteria. How can you say that? After listening to Miyamoto Rei's words, Kamuro Takashi came out to defend Wisteria Koichi. He felt that Rei Miyamoto shouldn't be so mean. This was not the childhood sweetheart she knew. After all, Koichi Koichi's surface work is pretty good. For most students in the school who have little contact with him, he is a good teacher. This kind of thing is very common. Kamuro Takashi is just like those keyboard warriors who don't understand the truth on the internet. They start to make random comments without understanding the situation. Why can't you say that? He is a scumbag. Of course Miyamoto Rei was very angry that her childhood sweetheart did not support her, and glared at Kamuro Takashi. In fact, Takashi Kamuro was a real failure as a childhood sweetheart. As a childhood sweetheart who was together every day, he didn't even know that Rei Miyamoto was repeated in grade by Koichi Murasaki. Forget it, before the zombie crisis broke out, this guy was still complaining about Miyamoto Rei, complaining about how this childhood sweetheart with whom he had a good relationship and his intended future wife had a boyfriend. He did not reflect on himself at all, and did not pay close attention to Rei Miyamoto's situation. When Rei Miyamoto needed someone to support and comfort him the most, he did not show up. This was the sudden arrival of the apocalypse that gave him an opportunity. Well, mainly because he is the protagonist, otherwise it would be in vain. After all, he is really cool. When Hayata returned to the car, he found Rei Miyamoto and Takashi Kimuro arguing. He immediately acted as a peacemaker, pushing Miyamoto Rei's shoulder and letting her get into the car. Now is not the time to quarrel. Everyone, please get in the car quickly, otherwise there will be too many zombies later and you won't be able to get out. HMPH after hearing what Hayabusa said, Miyamoto Rei snorted at Kamuro Takashi, then got in the car and found a place to sit down. After that, Kamuro Takashi and others also got in the car. Kamuro Takashi sat next to Miyamoto Rei, and then tried to please her and told her not to be angry. Hayata was the last one to get on the bus. After getting on the bus, he came directly to the driver's seat. He reached out and patted Marikawa Shizuka on the shoulder and said to her, Teacher Marishwan, let me do it. Oh, good. Marikawa Shizuka immediately gave up her position, she was just happy to be at ease. After sitting in the driver's seat, 
Hayabusa began to operate it skillfully, and the bus sped out under his control. Then, bang, bang, bang. It's just a clanging sound. Everyone gripped the seats tightly with both hands to prevent them from being thrown out of their seats due to bumps. Some people even closed their eyes and prayed silently in their hearts, praying that they could leave the school safely. Bang, bang, bang. The bus drove wildly through the campus, knocking away all the zombies blocking its way. This allowed Hayata to gain another wave of experience. Hayata stepped on the accelerator to the bottom and rushed straight towards the school gate. Although there were many zombies there, they could not stop this steel behemoth. Hayabusa didn't panic at all, he played with bumper cars and bumped into zombies when he saw them. After breaking through the obstacles of the zombies, he knocked the locked door of the school to the ground. The bus sped out of the school and landed on the road in front of the campus. Clang! There was another violent jolt after landing, and the students sitting in the back felt their stomachs churn and they were about to vomit. Fortunately, after a sharp turn, the car stabilized and they rushed out of the campus. As for Hayata, it's time to harvest. Ding, congratulations to the reincarnation master Busujima Hayata for completing the side mission, breaking out of the campus and obtaining 1,600 reincarnation coins. Um, Hayata suddenly felt that something was wrong. Why was there only 1,600 reincarnation coins, and why was 100 missing? He hurriedly looked inside the car through the rearview mirror and reconfirmed the number of people. 1, 2, 3, 0.15, 16, 17, yes, that's right. But after reconfirming the number of people, it was still wrong. In addition to himself, there were 17 people in the car. Why is it missing 100? Hayabusa was confused. Although there are not many, the nature of the matter is different. After all, the Lord God space will not make mistakes on this kind of thing. So what's going on? Did someone get bitten? But then Hayata felt something was wrong, because the mission did not require them not to be bitten. Just take them away from the campus and still be alive at this time. As for what happens next, it has nothing to do with Hayabusa and will not affect the settlement of the mission. Huh, wait. At this time, Hayabusa suddenly discovered something strange. Isn't that person a reincarnator like me? He found a somewhat familiar face in the crowd. It was one of the four reincarnations at the beginning of the dungeon, another girl besides Sakurajima Taroko. Hayabusa didn't expect that a reincarnation person would get in. No wonder he was missing 100 reincarnation coins. What's her name? Hayata recalled it in his mind, but when he thought of that person's name, he was stunned. Woo! The car was still moving forward, because this section of the road was not a straight line, so the car deviated slightly towards the side of the road. Fortunately, Hayabusa reacted in time, remembered that he was still driving, and immediately turned the steering wheel to correct the car's deviation. Otherwise, we might have to take a carload of people to report to the underworld. The reincarnator seemed to feel that someone was looking at her, so she looked forward. Through the rearview mirror, their eyes met. But immediately she looked away as if nothing happened. But both of them knew that they had discovered each other. After glancing at the female reincarnation again to confirm that he had seen correctly, Hayabusa looked away and concentrated on driving. Now that we know the reason, there is no need to stare at a little girl. After all, I have brought my clothes out, so I can't just kick him out of the car now. And you still have to pay attention when driving, otherwise your loved ones will burst into tears. Hayata drove the car on the asphalt road. There were tall trees on both sides of the road blocking his view of exploring the outside. After the joy of escaping from the campus, the atmosphere in the car immediately became better and no longer as tense as it was at the beginning. The car drove smoothly for a while. Koichi Wisteria, who was sitting in the back, suddenly stood up and came to Seiko Busujima, who was sitting in the front. With a false smile on his face, he smiled and thanked Busujima Seiko and Hayata in front of her. Thank you very much for just now, Seiko-san and Hayata-san. You don't need to thank us specifically, we just saved you. It was Hayata who answered him. The mission has been completed, and there is no need for Hayabusa to talk nicely to him. That's also something to thank you for. This time Hayabusa didn't speak anymore. Seeing Hayabusa like this, Busujima Seiko certainly wouldn't say anything else. If Hayabusa hadn't spoken at first, she might have been polite. 
But when Hayabusa spoke, as a sensible girl, it was impossible for her to answer at this time. Ha ha. Seeing that Hayabusa didn't talk to him, Zito Hao smiled awkwardly. But as a sinister villain, there is no problem with the thickness of his skin. He immediately adjusted and asked directly to Busujima Seiko. Seiko-san is the leader of this team, right? Although Hayabusa had been very conspicuous before, based on their past performance in school, Purple Fuji still felt that Busujima Seiko was the one who made the decision. You're kidding. We just happened to gather together and escape together. There is no leader. Busujima Seiko immediately denied it. Upon hearing this, Koichi Zito's eyes lit up. This was exactly the answer he wanted. So he said excitedly, how can this work? In this situation, we need a leader that everyone trusts to lead us. Only in this way will it be easier to get through the crisis. HMPH, I just said I shouldn't have brought him into the car. Miyamoto Ray snorted coldly, muttered without lowering her voice, and then turned to look out the window angrily. She was out of sight and out of mind. She had already seen that Koichi Zito was going to cause trouble. Hayata, who was sitting in front, also sneered silently. Miyamoto Ray knew that Koichi Wisteria was going to cause trouble, and of course he would not know it. But, he has a lot of ways to deal with this. Squeak. Hayabusa suddenly stepped on the brakes hard, and the bus stopped quickly after the tires of the bus rubbed fiercely against the asphalt road. Ah, plop. Everyone else was fine, they were all in their seats, that is to say, they were shaken a little, and at most their faces came into close contact with the seat in front of them. Only Koichi Wisteria, who was standing without any defense at all, fell to the ground. Woo. Purple Fuji Koichi sat up with one hand supporting his body and covering his face with the other hand. The expression on his face was very painful, and blood flowed from the gaps between his fingers. His nose is bleeding. Hayata stood up from his seat, walked slowly to him, pretended to be concerned and asked. Teacher Wisteria, are you okay? I'm fine. In order to continue to maintain his own personality, Koichi Wisteria had no choice but to say anything to Hayata, his savior. Taze Falcon also used the slope to get off the donkey. That's good, that's good, otherwise my sin would be huge. Of course, he was just talking. After confirming that Koichi Zito was fine, Hayata looked at the other people in the car and explained to everyone the reason for his sudden stop. There happens to be a supermarket here. I will go down first and kill the zombies inside, and then everyone will go down to get some food and drink. After all, no matter what the world becomes, we still need to eat. After Jing Shutai said this, everyone immediately felt that there was really nothing in their stomachs. Normally, it wouldn't be time to eat yet. But now, both physically and mentally, I am exhausted, so I feel hungry earlier than usual. It's just that I was too nervous before, so I didn't notice it. This is not good. If we do this, we will be stealing. Kamuro Takashi, who is the protagonist of Amatsu Masaru, would certainly not agree when he heard that Hayabusa wanted to take something directly from the store. Then you don't have to eat. Hayata doesn't have time to reason with fools. Under such circumstances, if you still say such things, it can only mean that your brain is not very good. You, Kamuro Takashi was suddenly choked. After all, he is also hungry, and he is unwilling to stop eating if you ask him to. There is no way, this is the holy mother fool, the slogans are loud and loud, and when you ask him to take action, he immediately stops. Hayata was not prepared to get too entangled with the protagonist, but turned to Busujima Seiko and Marikawa Shizuka and said. Sister Seiko, you and Mr. Marishwan will stay in the car, and you have to leave people in the car. We will bring you food and other things when the time comes. Good. Busujima Seiko and Marikawa Shizuka both had no objections to this arrangement. After the two agreed, Hayata opened the car door and got out of the car. There are quite a lot of things in the supermarket where Hayabusa stopped. There is a glass wall on the side of the supermarket door curtain. Through this glass wall, you can get a general view of the situation inside. Daily necessities, food, water and other things are piled high inside. As for zombies, Hayata only saw two. It was also because of these two reasons that he chose here. After getting off the car, Hayata found a motorcycle parked in front of the supermarket. This is good, you should use it. 
With this thought in mind, Hayata pushed open the door of the supermarket. Roar. Hiss. The two zombies inside immediately came to kill Hayata. Judging from their clothes, one of them must be a shop assistant here. However, Hayabusa doesn't care about their previous identities, he just picks them up and drops them. After easily dealing with the two zombies, Hayata looked towards the store and found no other zombies. However, Hayata didn't be careless. Instead, he walked in carefully and walked through the rows of shelves to make sure there were no zombies hiding. After walking around, Hayata felt relieved after confirming that there were indeed no zombies in the store. Just as he was about to go out and call others over, Hayata's eyes caught sight of the baseball bat on the shelf. Wooden swords won't last long, but this one is pretty good. It's sturdier. It's not unreasonable for Kamuro Takashi to choose this as his weapon. So Hayata picked up all the baseball bats and prepared to take them back to the car for later use. Arriving at the entrance of the supermarket, Hayata suddenly stopped again. After putting down everything in his hands, he started groping for the clerk's body. Of course this is not Hayabusa's pervert hobby, he is looking for something. Soon, Hayabusa found a bunch of keys on the clerk's body. After putting it away, he returned to the car with the baseball bat with satisfaction. After putting down his things, Hayata said to the people in the car. There are no zombies in the supermarket anymore, everyone can go in. Very good. All of a sudden, most people stood up eagerly and couldn't wait to get out of the car. This also includes Kamuro Takashi. I don't know if someone persuaded him or if he suddenly figured it out on his own, he rushed into the supermarket and started, purchasing. After the others got off the bus, Hayata also got off the bus again. But he didn't go to the supermarket immediately to get something. Instead, he came to the motorcycle parked outside the supermarket. Hayata took out the key he found earlier and inserted it into the keyhole of the motorcycle. Click. Perfect. All he found were the keys to the motorcycle. Hayabusa nodded with satisfaction, then looked up at the chaotic situation in the supermarket, and finally decided to wait a while before going in. Anyway, idle time is idle, and Hayata continues to improve his skills. He converted the 1600 reincarnation coins he just obtained into experience to improve his skills. Reincarnation coins can be exchanged for experience at any time, and this is also possible in dungeons. The most important thing for Hayata now is to improve his strength, so he will exchange all the reincarnation coins into experience. After this upgrade, Hayata's four skills have all been upgraded to level 14. The experience required for the next upgrade will be 300 points, so Hayabusa is not ready to continue breaking through. The next step is to accumulate experience, and when the experience is almost full, the level will be upgraded to level 4. After Hayabusa finished improving his skills, the fast-moving person had already left the supermarket with large and small bags. Seeing that the number of people inside decreased, Hayata also went in to pick things up. This time it can be said that it was a full harvest. Everyone brought a lot of food and water back to the car, which almost blocked the aisle. After giving food and water to Busuji Maseko and the others, Hayata went to push the motorcycle up. Shunta-kun, why did you push the motorcycle up? Marikawa Shizuka asked strangely while eating. Oh, I think it might be useful. In this situation, it's better to be more prepared. After hearing what Mrs. Hayabusa said, everyone thought it was right, so they said nothing more. After pacifying his stomach, Hayata asked Marikawa Shizuka to drive. Anyway, the zombies are gone, so Hayata thinks it doesn't matter if he can't drive. In this way, under the leadership of Marikawa Shizuka, everyone embarked on the journey again. The bus was driving on the asphalt road, and the sky gradually dimmed. It didn't take long for the whole city to be shrouded in darkness. Hayata and the others drove all the way towards Goshen Bridge, because they could escape the city faster from there. There were just a lot of people with this idea, and soon they found that there were more and more cars on the road, and the bus was forced to slow down little by little. In the end, even for a long time, I couldn't move forward much, and my speed was not as fast as walking. But in this situation, most people obviously will not choose to walk because it is too dangerous. Even if the car is traveling slowly, the car is safe after all, and he will not die at the hands of zombies inexplicably. 
However, such congested roads can still make people feel irritated. Why is it so crowded? Because Marikawa Shizuka felt tired, she had put Everest on the steering wheel to make her shoulders less sore. Let me go to the front to check on the situation. Hayabusa knew that the car would not be able to move forward much after that, so he stood up and suggested getting out of the car and taking a look. I'll go with you. Saying that, Busujima Seiko also wanted to stand up, but was held down by Hayata. I'd better go by myself. There's a motorcycle here. I'll drive it and I'll be back soon, and it's more convenient. I'm not worried if you're not on the car. Hayata didn't want to be disturbed. This is also the reason why he wants to move this motorcycle onto the bus. Hayata's purpose of getting out of the car was not to check the situation, because he knew that the Goshen Bridge in front had been blocked and could not be passed. The reason why he got out of the car was to kill zombies. After eating and drinking, of course you need to exercise, but you can't waste time here. Oh well. Busujima Seiko obediently agreed. After that, Hayata took the motorcycle out of the car and drove forward on the motorcycle. Along the way, whenever zombies are discovered, Hayata will lead them together, then get out of the car and eliminate them. Although Hayata can ride a motorcycle, his driving skills are not good enough to kill zombies while riding a motorcycle, so he can only use this inefficient method. But even so, he quickly accumulated enough experience. Ding! Congratulations to Samsara Busujima Hayata, your level has been upgraded to level 4 and you have gained 10 free attribute points. This time Hayata adopted a 3, 4, 3 distribution plan, which increased his 3 attributes of strength, physique, and speed to 16 points. There are no cards drawn at level 4, and the next draw is at level 5. And at level 5, the cards drawn will have a chance to be green, which means Hayabusa has a chance to obtain blue quality cards. In addition, what is extracted at level 5 is not skills, but talents. Generally speaking, skills are abilities that people acquire through acquired learning, while talent is a person's innate potential and differences in certain aspects. After Hayata's level is raised to level 4, the experience gained by killing level 1 zombies will only be 20 points, upgrading becomes more difficult. I don't know if these zombies will be upgraded. If this continues, I will lose experience in killing zombies soon. Hayata is a little worried about the future. After assigning attributes, he moved on with this concern. Hayabusa didn't drive very fast because he had to pay attention to his surroundings. It would be bad if something suddenly jumped out, got into a car accident, or was attacked by a sneak attack. And he wasn't in a hurry anyway, so there was no need to be in such a hurry. After dealing with another wave of zombies, Hayata suddenly found a police car parked in front of him. As soon as he saw the police car, Hayata thought of guns, so he thought in his heart. I don't know if there are guns there. Although Hayabusa thought it was unlikely, he still stopped his motorcycle next to the police car and prepared to find out. Ho! Oh. Just when Hayabusa parked the car, a zombie wearing a police uniform suddenly jumped out from behind the car and pounced on Hayabusa. You actually know how to ambush. Hayabusa didn't show any mercy, he hit him with one blow, his brains splattered everywhere. No matter what your status was when you were alive, you are all equal now and it's all the same thing. Not to mention, this zombie with a baseball bat feels much easier to use than a wooden knife. This time, Hayata didn't use the wooden sword when he came out. He gave his wooden sword to Busujima Seiko and asked her to keep it as a spare, while he chose a baseball bat. Anyway, he is good at all kinds of martial arts, so it doesn't matter which one he uses as a weapon. Huh. After killing the zombie, Hayata suddenly let out a sigh because he discovered that the police officer had a revolver on his waist. This is really an unexpected gain. Of course, Hayata would not be polite. He took a pistol and carefully searched the police officers and police cars. It's just that he is obviously not a child of luck. He only found this revolver with six rounds of bullets and gained nothing more. Putting the pistol away, Hayabusa prepared to move forward. But as soon as he started the engine, he realized that the motorcycle didn't seem to have much oil. Yeah, I need to find a place to fill up the gas tank, and then pack some more in case of emergencies. So Hayata took out a mobile phone. Of course the Lord God does not deserve this for reincarnations like them. But in this chaotic world, it is still easy to get a mobile phone. 
There are a lot of them on those corpses. Hayata turned on the navigation and looked for the nearest gas station. Because the zombie crisis has just broken out, the city's power, water, and communication systems have not yet completely collapsed. Of course, if you want to call the police for help, you won't be able to do it, because the police station's phone numbers have been overwhelmed. As a normal person living in modern society, when encountering something like today, the first thing that comes to mind is definitely to call the police. So, this is normal. The gas station was not far from Hayata's location, and he arrived at the gas station in just five or six minutes. The gas station looked like no one was inside, the lights were not on. But it's still a little bright now, so it won't affect anything. Hayata drove the motorcycle to the designated location, got off the car, picked up the oil gun, opened the motorcycle's fuel tank cap, and started to refuel the motorcycle. After filling up the motorcycle, he went to find a plastic bucket and planned to fill it up as well and keep it for later use. Russell. Just when Hayabusa squatted down to refuel, he vaguely seemed to hear a slight noise behind him, like the friction of something. Hayata's eyes turned cold, and his whole body tensed up instantly. But on the surface, he still pretended to be nonchalant and continued to cheer. Russell. The friction sound sounded again, and it was very subtle, most people couldn't hear it at all. But who is Hayata? As a person who has practiced martial arts for many years, although his strength is not very strong, his sharp ears, quick eyes and quick hands are the most basic. At this time, the plastic bucket was full. Hayata took out the oil gun with one hand and held the lid of the plastic bucket with the other hand, trying to screw the lid on. He is creating opportunities for things behind him. Really. Shashisha. He felt the thing behind him speed up and rush towards him quickly. Feeling the attack from behind, Hayata did not look back. He directly threw the oil gun back, and at the same time retreated to the side. While retreating, he turned around and looked at his original location. I saw a fierce-looking, muscular young man standing there holding a military dagger. Judging from his actions, he should be trying to kidnap Hayata from behind. It was just blocked by the oil gun, so it was a step too late. When he deflected the oil gun and found that Hayata had escaped, he was obviously stunned for a moment. He didn't expect Hayabusa to be so alert and found him, and was very surprised. Of course, Hayata would not miss such an opportunity. He took out the baseball bat hanging on the motorcycle and hit him on the head. The man wanted to dodge, but Hayabusa's attacks were fast and ruthless, giving him no chance at all. Ah, he only had time to let out a scream before he fell to the ground covered in blood. Ding. Congratulations to Samsara Busujima Hayata for killing a level 2 human and gaining 30 experience points. Quote dot 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 quote. Looking at the corpse, Hayabusa scratched his head. This guy is used to killing zombies, but he was killed in one go. Although it was his first time, to be honest, Hayata didn't feel much at all. He was no different from the zombies. He was not upset about his death, but felt that he should not be killed all at once, but should be interrogated first. But people cannot be resurrected after death, so that's all. Hayabusa swung the baseball bat twice to shake off the excess bloodline, then picked up the plastic bucket filled with oil, tied it to the car, and rode away from the gas station in style. After that, Hayabusa stayed with the zombies for a while before preparing to return. After these few hours of killing, Hayata completed another side mission, the quick test mission. He killed 100 zombies and received 100 reincarnation coins. Just like before, it was all converted into experience by Hayabusa. The school bus is not difficult to find, mainly because it doesn't go very far. Hayata searched along the road for a while and found it soon. Busujima Seiko and Marikawa Shizuka looked happy to see Hayabusa back safely. You're back. Um, Busujima Seiko didn't ask anything, just like a wife waiting for her husband to come home, she helped Hayabusa put away the things he brought back. How's it going? Why is it so blocked in front? Takagi Saya was more concerned about the situation ahead, and asked immediately after Hayata sat down. It's not surprising that she would be like this, that's because her home is just across the river. If they hadn't been stuck here, she might have arrived home. The police blocked Goshen Bridge, that's why there's such congestion here. Hayata told the reason. How so? 
Gao Cheng Saya was a little discouraged. Then what should we do? Although she is very smart, she is only a high school student after all. Now that she knows she can't go home, she is a little confused. Let's wait and see the situation tomorrow. It's so late at night, no matter what we do, it's too dangerous. After listening to Hayata's words, Takagi Saya stopped talking. She also knew that what Hayata said was right. Even if she had any ideas, she would have to wait until tomorrow before taking action. After dealing with Saya Takagi, Hayata looked inside the car and realized that the female reincarnation who had been sitting in the back had sat in the front at some point. He glanced behind him and found that Koichi Zito was communicating enthusiastically with the students behind him. Many students looked at him with admiration. It seems that this guy has started preaching. Wisteria Koichi is a very restless guy, and he is also good at instigating some idiots. But this has nothing to do with Hayabusa, after all, he will leave tomorrow. Hayata glanced at the female reincarnation again, guessing in his mind. She probably couldn't stand that guy, so she ran to the front to take refuge. I have to say that the female reincarnation's senses were really keen. She seemed to have noticed Hayabusa looking at her again, so she also turned her head to look at Hayabusa. The two of them suddenly looked at each other. Looking at the other party's beautiful face, Hayata had to say that this was another beautiful girl who was not inferior to Busuji Maseko. She has a regular appearance, delicate facial features, fair and transparent skin that is moist and smooth, pink sakura lips of just the right size, and long black hair that falls over her shoulders. The only regrettable thing is probably that it is somewhat incompatible with the female tradition of XX apocalypse, the child may have problems eating in the future. Of course, these are all nothingness and insignificant things under her peerless appearance. What a shame. Looking there, Hayabusa couldn't help but show a regretful expression. Perhaps feeling the malice from Hayata, the female reincarnation's originally cold eyes became even colder. The iceberg-like face seems to be able to freeze everything close to it into popsicles. Even the strong and strong Hayabusa couldn't help but shiver. I feel like you're thinking of something very rude. The other party said it bluntly, which really put Hayabusa off guard. After all, most people are not so straightforward. He could only show a friendly smile and say ha ha. How is this possible? I'm not that kind of person. You must be feeling wrong. My feelings are never wrong. The other party's tone was affirmative, and although his voice was clear and sweet, it could also make people feel the chill in it. Then you made a mistake for the first time today. There will always be a first time for this. Don't worry about it. Hayata continued to use his smile to melt the other party's chill. After all, he was the one who was rude first, so Hayata didn't treat her like he treated other people. No matter what, Hayata is still a reasonable person. Quote dot 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 quote. The reincarnator was speechless. He didn't know how someone could be so shameless. But after all, Hayabusa had helped her before. If Hayabusa hadn't been waiting for them, she wouldn't have been able to get in the car. So she didn't say anything anymore, but turned her head and closed her eyes to rest. After she turned her head, Hayabusa felt that the temperature around her had increased a lot. If this were summer, it would be very comfortable to be around her. Just as he was thinking about it, the samsara turned his head again and glared at Hayata. He seemed to know that he was thinking about something rude. Is it so powerful? Hayata also had no choice but to cut off some of his not-so-good thoughts. The spring morning is still a bit cold, the sun has just shown its face on the distant seaside, and most of the sky is still occupied by darkness. Although it is such a cold morning, it is time for the humble workers in the past to come out and start their hard work of the day. It's just that now this city, which is illuminated by the sun, is extremely quiet even though many places are crowded with people. If you look down from the sky, you will find that most of them are converging in one direction. In this quiet city, on a street blocked by vehicles, in a bus with a bumpy front. Hayata suddenly opened his eyes in his sleep. Although he doesn't have the habit of getting up early, Hayabusa woke up extra early today. Being used to soft beds, Hayabusa was particularly uncomfortable with this somewhat hard seat. Ah, he yawned and rubbed his eyes. Suddenly, Hayata felt his right shoulder was a little wet. He looked down and saw a sleeping face with a relieved look on his face. 
It turned out that Busuji Maseko was resting her head on his shoulder at some point. And maybe because she slept too deeply, Sakura's slightly opened lips still had some water stains that hadn't been completely dried out. Looking at this beautiful girl drooling while sleeping, Hayata felt a little funny. He reached out and gently wiped away the water stains. Uh huh. It seemed that Hayata's movements disturbed Busuji Maseko's sleep, and she smacked her lips. Because Busuji Maseko was leaning on him, Hayabusa couldn't make any big moves for the time being. He could only turn his head and look forward and to the side to see if everyone was awake. In front of her, Marikawa Shizuka was lying on the steering wheel, soundly asleep. Because she was cushioned by her own flesh, she seemed to be sleeping very comfortably. This is also the first time Hayabusa has seen a girl bury her head in her own fleshy mat, this scene is quite magical. But it looks so soft. On the side of Hayata, the female reincarnation was also sleeping soundly. Her waist is straight and her hands are placed on her knees. She maintains a good sitting posture even when sleeping. But because she didn't lean her head on the back of the chair, she was nodding her head all the time. This reminded Hayabusa of his previous life when he was in school, when he would secretly sleep in class and act like a roly-poly. When I fell asleep, my head would sink because my muscles were relaxed, but because I felt like I was going to lie on the table, I subconsciously raised my head. This goes over and over again, and it becomes like nodding all the time. Now that I think about it, it was pretty interesting back then. Perhaps because he was already asleep, the expression of the reincarnator was no longer so cold, and the lines on his face were much softer. Sure enough, I'm more likable like this. It's not good to be so cold all day long. Looking at her, Hayabusa felt a sense of childishness. He raised his left hand and stretched his index finger towards the soft cheek of the reincarnation, wanting to poke it. It just looks very soft and wants to do something. To sum it up, it's just cheap. But just when Hayabusa was about to succeed, the other party suddenly opened his eyes and stared at him coldly with those big Katie Lauder eyes. At this time, she looked at Hayata as if she was seeing some pest. The eyes were full of oppression. If an ordinary person was stared at by her like this, he would probably feel very guilty. But who is Hayata? Anyway, they were discovered. If nothing was done, it would be a bigger loss. And at this time, the people who care will be even more embarrassed. He suddenly felt anxious and stabbed it directly with his finger. Phew. Not to mention, it feels really good. Feeling the fingers digging into his cheek, the face of the reincarnator became even colder. She finally spoke. What are you doing? The sound seemed like the cold wind coming from the Nine Netherworld, which could freeze time. Nothing done. As he spoke, Hayata continued poking. He felt a little addicted. Take your hands off. The female reincarnation gave Hayata a hard look to express her dissatisfaction. Would you believe me if I said my hands were beyond my control? Hayata licked his face and continued poking. What do you think? The other party was already speechless by Hayabusa. Haha, ha, that's true. Smiling awkwardly, Hayata finally endured the pain and retracted his hand. He was still defeated. Shunta is still not thick-skinned enough. I don't know if it was because Hayata's movements were too big, but Busuji Maseko also woke up at this time. She drowsily left Hayata's shoulder and looked at him. Did it wake you up? Hayata turned around and asked. No. The answer was concise and clear, and he seemed to have completely sobered up. After answering, Busuji Maseko suddenly turned his head and looked out the window for some reason. Hayata was a little surprised by Busuji Maseko's behavior. But through the reflection of the car glass, Hayata seemed to see Busuji Maseko blushing and wiping the corners of her mouth with her hands. Did you find yourself drooling? Hayabusa had a guess. Woo. Busuji Maseko was followed by Marikawa Shizuka. She stretched out greatly and showed off her perfect curves to Hayabusa. Then he let out a big yawn. Ah, covering her mouth with her hands, she maintained the last bit of her adult image. Morning. Seeing Hayata and others, he said hello again. Morning. Hayata and the others responded. After Marikawa Shizuka woke up, others also woke up one after another, and the car gradually became lively. Because we took a lot of food yesterday, we don't need to go hungry when we get up in the morning. Yesterday, when he was in the supermarket, 
Hayata picked up some toiletries, and he and everyone sitting in front of him also washed up. It can be seen at this time that after a night, the people in the car have formed some small groups. It's like the guys behind the car, under the brainwashing trick of Koichi Zito, became his loyal believers. And those of them sitting in front are another group. However, there are small groups under the big group, and these people are not monolithic. For example, Kamuro Takashi and Miyamoto Rei are on the same side, and the relationship between Hayata and Busujima Seiko is also unbreakable. After finishing breakfast, their respective small groups gathered together, some chatting, while others planned the next way out. I'm getting ready to get off. Hayata expressed his thoughts to Busujima Seiko beside him. Wherever Hayabusa goes, I will go. Busujima Seiko did not ask Hayabusa why, but chose to support him unconditionally. I'll go with you too. Just as Hayabusa thought, Marikawa Shizuka also chose to be with him. I'll get out of the car with you too. I don't want to stay in the car anymore. Miyamoto Rei glanced at Koichi Wisteria who was still bewitching the students behind with disgust. She could no longer bear to be with Koichi Zito. But Hayata shook his head and rejected her request. I am not going to cross the river anymore. I will find a place to live by the river when the time comes. So our destinations are different. Hayata is not prepared to follow Kamuro Takashi and others, follow the protagonist group's route, that would be a waste of time for him. He was ready to part ways with them here. As for Kamoi Mamoru, the task of protecting him was completed last night, and the reincarnation coins he obtained were exchanged for experience by Hayata. So now there is no need to care about him at all. Ah, now Rei Yumumoto doesn't know what to do, because she still has to find her parents, but she can't find a place to live with Hayabusa. Your situation is different from ours. My parents are gone. For me, the closest people are Sister Seiko and Uncle Shoichi. But Uncle Jungyi is abroad now, and it is impossible for us to find him, so there is no need for the two of us to wander around the city. We can find a place to settle down, and then search for some supplies nearby to meet our normal life. Then we just have to wait and see what happens with the government. If the government could take back the city and eliminate all the zombies, we could return to our old lives. And if that doesn't work, we just need to find a place in the wilderness to farm, and living on won't be a problem. Quote. The uncle Shoichi that Hayata mentioned was Busuji Maseko's father. Hearing what he said, Miyamoto Rei and others fell silent. Just like Hayata said, there is no need for them to take risks everywhere in the city. But Miyamoto Rei and the others are different, because they still have family members here and want to find them. I'll go with you too. At this time, the reincarnator suddenly spoke. Hayata glanced at her and said nothing, acquiescing. As for why Hayabusa agreed, one was because he thought she was a nice person and would not cause trouble for him. One is because of her name, Yukino Shita Yukino. This is a name that Hayabusa is very familiar with. The heroine in an anime he watched in his previous life was named like this. That's why Hayabusa behaved like that when he thought of her name at first. Of course, just a name doesn't mean much, and this name was given by the Lord God. But later through Hayata's observation, Yukino Shida Yukino was very similar to the character in his impression in all aspects, appearance, personality, etc. So Hayabusa felt that this couldn't be just a coincidence. Maybe, the world he was born in this life is not necessarily the anime world. And Yukino Shida Yukino, as a character he liked very much, just proposed to go with him, and of course Hayata would not refuse. It just so happened that he could take the opportunity to take a closer look. Of course, if she does anything bad during this period, or wants to take advantage of herself, Hayata will not show mercy. Don't get carried away, everyone here is not cheap in that sense. For Hayata, as long as others don't violate his interests, everything is easy. Even with a little effort, it's not like he can't help, he just treats it as a favor. But for other things, he, he you can try it. Not even if you are a beauty. Shunta-san, it's okay if you want to leave, but teacher Marikawa can't leave. Who will drive for us if she leaves? When Hayata and others were discussing what to do next, Koichi Zito, who heard their conversation, came with his fake smile. What does that have to do with us? Hayabusa was so rude that she didn't even bother to look up at him. You, 
Purple Fuji Koichi did not expect Hayabusa to be so arrogant, and was choked for a moment. The reason why Hayata is like this is not only because of his disgust for this guy Koichi Purple Toe, but also because he feels that there will be no intersection between the two of them. So even if it is some superficial effort, there is no need to maintain it. Faced with Hayata's rudeness, Koichi Wisteria quickly adjusted his attitude and forced out that hypocritical smile again. Shunta-san, what you're doing is wrong. There are so many people in the car, you can't just think about yourself. He began to try to morally kidnap Hayata. Who are you and what is your relationship with me? Why should I think about you? Why should Mr. Marishwan wrong himself and stay behind to drive because of you? Hayabusa looked at Purple Fuji Koichi with a sneer, then picked up the baseball bat beside him and stood up, pointing the baseball bat at him. I don't have time to listen to your ridiculous remarks. My time is precious. If you waste my precious time, you will have to use your life to atone for your sins. As he spoke, Hayabusa poked Koichi Shido in the chest with a baseball bat, and then asked him with a sinister smile. Do you understand? Hayabusa used the strongest attitude to respond to Koichi Wisteria. He knew that this was the most effective and fastest way. Ha ha. The pain in his chest made Koichi Wisteria understand that Hayata really dared to do something to him, so he quickly said with a smile. Shunta-san, you misunderstood. We are just here to seek Mr. Marikawa's opinion. Since she wants to get off the bus, of course we will not stop her. While saying this, Koichi Zito walked backwards back to the back of the car in a wise manner. Keep a safe distance from Hayabusa. You know what you're interested in. Seeing Koichi Zito retreat, Hayata put down his baseball bat. In fact, if it weren't for Busuji Maseko and the others, these people who Hayabusa wanted to take into the Crystal Palace were here, Hayabusa would have really killed Koichi Wisteria just now. For a scum like him, Hayabusa wouldn't feel any guilt when killing him. This was because he was afraid of being regarded as a murderer by Busuji Maseko and others, which would affect subsequent plans, so Shifuji Koichi saved his life. After dealing with the matter of Koichi Wisteria, Hayata looked at Rei Miyamoto and the others. Although our destinations are different and we can't move together. But I think you don't want to stay here anymore, so you can get off the bus with us. In this situation, the car will definitely not be able to cross the bridge for the time being. You can walk to the front and see if you can pass. If that doesn't work, you have to look along the Yushin River to see if there is any place where you can go. Quote. Well, it looks like this is the best option right now. Takagi Saya held her chin and lowered her head. That's it, I've wanted to get off the car for a long time. Miyamoto Rei hurriedly agreed. Although under Takashi Kimuro's persuasion, she temporarily suppressed her disgust, staying in a car with Koichi Zito. But in fact, she couldn't stand it anymore. Being able to get off the car now was a dream for her. After seeing two friends say this, Kamuro Takashi certainly wouldn't object. As for Takagi Saya's licking dog Hirano Kota, of course he goes wherever Takagi Saya goes. Just like that, eight of them decided to get out of the car and leave. By the way, Teacher Marishwan, this is for you. Use it for self-defense. While everyone was packing up, Hayata took out a dagger and handed it to Marikawa Shizuka. The knife was the same one used by the man who attacked him at the gas station. After Hayabusa dealt with him, the dagger became Hayabusa's trophy. Good. Marikawa Shizuka took the dagger and put it away. Because they brought back a lot of food and water yesterday, Hayata and the others are leaving now, so of course they have to take them with them. This way they don't need to look for food for the time being. Each of them carried a backpack filled with these things. Then, Everyone bids farewell and looks forward to the day we meet again. I believe it will be soon. After getting off the bus, they said goodbye to Takagi Saya and the others, and the two groups of people went their separate ways. Hayata and the others left the main road and walked towards the lower reaches of the Goshen River. As for Gao Cheng Saya and the others, they walked along the road towards Goshen Bridge. They're going over there to see what's going on and then decide what to do next. Sister Seiko, you and Yukinoshida protect teacher Marikawa, and I will clear the way in front. This is another reason why Hayata would agree to Yukinoshida Yukino being with them. He felt that it was not reassuring for Busujima Seiko to protect Marikawa Shizuka alone. 
It's much safer now that there are two of us. Be safe. Um. After arranging the action plan, Hayata rode his motorcycle and headed forward. Having this motorcycle is very convenient. Because the speed of the motorcycle is relatively fast, Hayata can open the road in front and get rid of all the zombies, and then the others can walk over, and the time is almost the same. He was on his way without any delay from the zombies. After Hayata left, the three of them were led by Busuji Maseko, while Yukino Shida Yukino was on guard from behind. The two protected Marikawa Shizuka in the middle. As a reincarnation, Yukino Shida Yukino is certainly not without any fighting ability. A smart person like her has studied hard in the past 18 years. Unlike Hayabusa who is a dabbler, she is a real grandmaster in all 18 martial arts. But one thing she and Hayabusa have in common is that they are both 3 minute hot. It's just that after 3 minutes, Hayabusa didn't want to learn anymore. Yukino Shida Yukino learned it in 3 minutes and lost interest in it. There is still a big difference between them. Because of this, Yukino Shida Yukino still has a sense of pride in her heart. She felt that after entering the dungeon, she would be able to do better than most people. Especially after she awakened her S level ability. It's just a pity that she met this idiot Hayabusa. Yukino Shida Yukino, like Busuji Maseko, was wearing the green uniform of Fujimi Academy, and in her hand was a stick she got from nowhere. It's just that her stick has been processed by her, and the front end has been made very pointed, so that it can be used to stab zombies. Not only that, it was also covered with dark red bloodline, which looked like it was packed with zombies. Although Yukino Shida Yukino doesn't have the fighting power of Busuji Maseko, a few zombies can still do it easily. When zombies first invaded Fujimi Academy, she killed a lot of zombies. But she has a fatal problem, that is, her physical strength is not very good. So she quickly found a place to hide. Well, that place is the classroom where Koichi and others are hiding. Later, she discovered that Hayabusa and the others rushed out of the teaching building and ran to the bus. She guessed that Hayabusa and the others were preparing to rush out on the bus. It was Yukino Shida Yukino who was spying on Hayata and the others in the room with the curtains on the first floor. So after she told the news to Koichi Zito and others, they rushed out together and asked Hayata and the others for help. Then she got into the car with those people, and was later discovered by Hayabusa, she was a fisher in troubled waters. The whole process is like this. But to be honest, Yukino Shida Yukino holding a broken stick still looks quite awkward. In Hayata's view, Yukino Shida Yukino is more suitable to become a noble priest, especially one of the ice and snow type, both in terms of her character and her image. However, you need to wait until level 10 to obtain a profession. Hayabusa doesn't know if he will be able to see it. More than an hour had passed since the bus trip. Yukino Shida and Yukino and the other three had been walking carefully along the route indicated by Hayata. Although Hayata has cleared away the zombies on the road, no one knows if any fish will slip through the net. There will also be zombies wandering from other places, so they don't dare to be careless. After all, the most powerful thing about zombies is not their fighting power, but their contagiousness. In the absence of drugs or antibodies, one cannot be too careful. Yukino Shida Yukino looked at the zombie corpses along the way, feeling a little frustrated. How can this guy be so powerful? This is really unreasonable. The number of zombies that Hayabusa lost along the way was at least 70 or 80. Yukino Shida Yukino knew very well that there was no way she could lose this amount in such a short period of time. Obviously I have awakened S level abilities, but my strength is so different from his. Could it be that he has awakened SSS level abilities? Yukino Shida Yukino couldn't help but guess. Then she looked at herself and saw that she was still at level 1, feeling a little irritated. Like Hayata, Yukino Shida Yukino did not directly upgrade her level, but chose to upgrade her skills first. In fact, under normal circumstances, everyone will choose this way. Because ordinary reincarnations don't have cheats like Hayabusa. They only have one free attribute point when they level up, and the white skills that improve attributes also increase one attribute point at level 1. In addition, upgrading skills in the first 10 levels requires less experience, which is the same as upgrading the level. That is to say, it takes 10 experience points to upgrade a skill level from level 1 to level 2, 
and it takes 20 experience points to upgrade a skill level from level 2 to level 3. In this case, of course everyone knows what to choose. After all, upgrading your own level will give you less experience in killing monsters, while upgrading your skills will simply make you stronger. Of course, Hayata didn't know what Yukinoshita Yukino was thinking. He was focusing on, playing baseball, at this time. Bang, bang, bang. Hitting home runs one after another, Hayabusa relied on his super physical fitness and skills to hit every hit. If he goes to play professionally, he will definitely be able to enter the major leagues and become a superstar. Ding, congratulations to Samsara Busujima Hayata for killing a level 1 zombie and gaining 20 experience points. Ding, congratulations to Samsara Busujima Hayata for killing a level 1 zombie and gaining 20 experience points. Ding, congratulations to Samsara Busujima Hayata for killing a level 2 zombie and gaining 30 experience points. Ding, congratulations to Samsara Busujima Hayata for killing a level 1 zombie and gaining 20 experience points. Amidst the boring system prompts, Hayata suddenly noticed a trace of noise. Um, he felt a little strange and wondered if he had heard wrongly. But Hayata quickly eliminated the remaining zombies and then opened the system log. He flipped through the pages one by one and finally found the noise. Ding. Congratulations to Samsara Busujima Hayata for killing a level 2 zombie and gaining 30 experience points. Seeing this different reminder, Hayata's lips couldn't help but curl up. He was very happy thinking. There are actually level 2 zombies. Yesterday they were all level 1. Does this mean that these zombies will indeed become stronger little by little? Because he only met one level 2 zombie, Hayabusa wasn't sure that there were level 2 zombies at the beginning, but because there were relatively few, he didn't encounter them at first. The zombies have evolved a bit after a day. It looks like we still need a little more. Thinking like this, Hayabusa felt more motivated. After all, he had lamented before that the level of zombies was too low and the experience given to them was getting less and less. Now, he sees hope. So after several hours of hard work, Hayata's four skills had all reached level 16, and the experience gauge was almost full. After dealing with another wave of zombies, he chose to upgrade again. Ding. Congratulations to Samsara Busujima Hayata, your level has been raised to level 5 and you have gained 10 free attribute points. Ding. Congratulations to the reincarnation master Busujima Hayata, for getting a chance to draw a card. Ding. The card is being drawn. Just like before, three cards appeared in front of Hayata. I wish there was blue. Hayabusa prayed silently, and then looked at the three cards. Yes, when he saw the blue card in the deck, Hayabusa excitedly made a fist-pumping motion. After getting over his excitement, Hayata quickly checked the specific content above. Talent. Honest man's counterattack plus 9. Talent quality. Blue. Talent description. Girls always think that you are an honest person and will be closer to you. But what they don't know is that it's actually just your disguise. Talent effect. Women's defense against you will become lower, their initial favorability towards you will increase, and their favorability toward you will increase faster. Because talents have no levels and cannot be upgraded with experience, Hayata's cheat has some minor changes when it is added to talents. Although the quality will not change, the effect will get better. Hayabusa looked at this blue quality talent and didn't know what to say. You can't say it's useless, on the contrary it's a very useful talent, especially paired with Hayata's cheat, Crystal Palace. It's just that this is not what he needs most now, the talent to improve his actual combat ability. Hayata was not in a hurry to make a choice, but looked at the other two green talents. He needs to compare first. Talent, full of chi and blood plus 9. Talent quality, green. Talent description. Your energy and blood are stronger than ordinary people, and your body is stronger. At the same time, this also makes you a man known as a gifted person. Talent effect. The overall physical quality is improved. P.S. This improvement is one time. Talent. Plus 9 after Lubin. Talent quality. Green. Talent description. You have unparalleled talent in carpentry. Talent effect. Learning carpenter related skills is faster requires less experience, and is easier to master. Talents are divided into two categories. One is, full of chi and blood, which improves certain abilities at once, 
and the other is, after Lu Ban, which improves potential in certain aspects. The cards Hayabusa played this time happened to have both aspects. After weighing it up, he decided to choose the two talents of, full of vitality and blood, and, honest man's counterattack. Hayata didn't plan to be a carpenter, so naturally he wouldn't choose the talent of, Queen of Lubin. After choosing his talent, Hayata felt a surge of power in his body, and he underwent all-round transformation of his body. This transformation did not last long, it was over in 10 minutes. After the transformation, Hayata found that his vision became clearer and his height seemed to be a little longer. He clenched his fist and felt that his strength had increased a lot. Hayata's body has indeed improved across the board. He opened his attribute panel to see how much he had been strengthened. Reincarnation, Busujima Hayata, age, 18, sex, male, height, 178 centimeters, weight, 66 kilograms, level, 5, experience required to upgrade, 350 50ths, strength, 16 plus 14 plus 21 naked plus talent plus skill equals 51. Physique, 16 plus 14 plus 16 equals 46. Agility, speed, 16 plus 14 plus 5 equals 35. Spirit, 7. Charisma, 88. Free attribute points, 10. Awakening ability, chi, c. Talent, honest man's counterattack plus 9, blue, full of vitality plus 9, green. Skills, Fitness Master, Green, LV, 1620ths, Sprinter, Green, LV, 1620ths, Cold Weapon, Grand Master, Green, LV, 1620ths, Firearms, Grand Master, Green, LV, 1620ths. The talent, full of energy and blood, increased Hayata's strength, physique, and agility by 14 points, and his height also increased by 3 centimeters. In addition, there are some hidden increases, such as the body's defensive power. It can be said that Hayata's strength has made a qualitative leap again. After selecting talents, Hayata also used up all 10 free attribute points and allocated them to strength, constitution, and agility according to 3, 3, and 4. When Hayata gained new talents, Saya Takagi and others who left at the same time as Hayata and others also came to Mishinchao. The Yushin Bridge has been blocked by all kinds of cars, and the area is completely blocked. And at about the middle of Yushin Bridge, a barbed wire fence was pulled up. In addition, there are fire trucks lying across the road to prevent vehicles from hitting the level. Policemen with guns were standing guard all around. The four of Takagi Saya who saw all this knew that Hayata did not lie to them. What should I do now? Kamuro Takashi looked at this situation and asked other people's opinions. Um, Saya Takagi lowered her head and thought for a moment and suddenly thought that Rei Miyamoto's father was a policeman. So she raised her head and asked Miyamoto Rei. Miyamoto, your father is not a policeman. How about we try and see if we can get them to let us go? Gao Cheng Saya wanted to take the back door. Then, then I'll try. Although she was not sure, Miyamoto Rei decided to give it a try. Like Saya Takagi, she now wants to go home and want to know how her parents are doing. So even if there was a glimmer of hope, she would give it a try. Okay, let's go. Takagi Saya was prepared to reveal her identity and add weight to see if Miyamoto Rei could pass. The Gaochung family is a wealthy family in Bedhost City, and it is the kind that has been passed down from ancient times. It has great influence in Bedhost City. Although it is the end of the world now, this influence has not faded, and it is normal to enjoy some privileges. As the two approached, the police on the other side of the barbed wire quickly spotted them. A policeman who looked like the leader picked up the loudspeaker beside him and issued a warning to them. The two people over there please leave immediately. This place has been blocked and no passage is allowed. Hearing this warning, the two did not leave, but continued to move forward. Seeing that Saya Gaocheng was unmoved, the policeman continued to shout. Warning again, this place has been blocked, please leave immediately. The Goshen Bridge is not long, and soon Saya Takagi and Rei Miyamoto came behind the barbed wire, and Rei Miyamoto was surprised to find that she actually knew the policeman who shouted. Uncle Maori, it's me. Miyamoto Rei raised her hand and waved it vigorously, trying to attract the other person's attention. After hearing Miyamoto Rei call his name, the Maori uncle also looked at Miyamoto Rei carefully. 
Because of the distance and the obstruction of the barbed wire fence, he hadn't noticed it before. Now that he looked carefully, he immediately recognized Miyamoto Rei. It's Lee, that's great. Your father is very worried about you. Officer Maori happily walked towards Miyamoto Rei and came to the other side of the barbed wire fence. Is my father okay? Rei Miyamoto seemed very excited when she heard Officer Mori mention her father. This was the first time she heard news about her father after the apocalypse. He is fine, don't worry. He is at the police station now. If you want to see him, you have to go there by yourself. I can't spare anyone to take you there right now. As the saying goes, there are people in the court who are easy to do things, and if they meet an acquaintance, the matter of opening the back door is of course not a problem. Even without Miyamoto Rei opening her mouth, the Maori police officer was ready to let them pass. Great, dad is fine. Miyamoto Rei felt a lot relieved after hearing the news about her father. Afterwards, Miyamoto Rei told Officer Mori that she had two companions, and they were let go together. The four of them passed the checkpoint here smoothly and continued towards the Gaochung family, which was the closest to here. After all, it's such a mess now, so of course you have to go to the nearest place first. You can't go to the police station first and then go around back. Seeing that the four of them passed smoothly, several of the will-o'-the-wisp teenagers couldn't sit still. They also ran to the barbed wire fence with a lot of noise, asking the Maori police officer to let them go. However, they obviously thought too much, and the Maori police officer rejected them without any surprise. However, a few people seemed to be used to being arrogant and had never experienced severe beatings from society. They actually wanted to climb over the barbed wire fence and break through. Of course, the Maori police officer would not let them do this, and ordered the fire truck to turn on the water cannon without hesitation. The high-pressure water jet was very powerful, and it directly flew them away and fell into the river. Plop, plop, plop. Just like dumplings, it also shocked other people who were ready to make a move. Squirting water. On the other side, Hayata was killing zombies while rushing around all morning. When the sun reached the middle of the sky, he, Busuji Maseko and the others found an empty shop and had something to eat while resting inside. Now we are far enough away from the Goshen Bridge. We can find a place to settle down in the afternoon. While biting the bread, Hayata discussed the afternoon arrangements with everyone. Why do you want to stay away from Mission Bridge? Marikawa Shizuka was a little confused as to why Hayata mentioned Goshen Bridge. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.